first time in seven years, I realized this when I walked out of Morgan's mm -hmm. courtroom and mm -hmm. went back to the jail. I was like, I'm not an accused murderer anymore. Yep, that's right. You know, yep. I'm not trying to hear that bullshit anymore. Yep, that's you right. Know what I'm saying? I've been the bad guy. I've been painted as the bad guy for seven years. Yep. You know, I don't have that anymore. So when, down the and hold my head high. so when you yeah. went back to the jail, Ty, I've always wondered this. So you go back to the jail after this and you're kind of like back. Obviously, you're still a prisoner at that moment, right? Even though you've already pled out and you're supposed to be released, you're, you're just back in your pod just waiting. Is everybody congratulating you or do they oh, take dude, you to a separate I area? Walked, I walked into the dormitory right now because uh -huh. I'm in max security. Everybody's right. behind steel doors. Right. And it was during lockdown when I got when I got back from marathon. Right. 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 So I walk in, I throw my hands up in the air, and I'm like, I'm yelling, Libertad! Which is, which is <laughs> you know, That's you know, awesome. And all the guys start banging on the cell doors and all that other stuff, and they're like, Amazing. Go ahead, go home, man, go home. And I was like, Yo, know, you know, they couldn't believe, man, I actually won. That's awesome. You know what I mean? Um, you know, because look, man, down there nobody beats the county. You know, that's that's what you know, the the popular theory is. Yep. Um, but you know, but the bottom line is, is yes, you can. You know, yep. but you have to be good. You know, it's like any other fight, man. It'll you got to fight, right, Ty? That's yeah. that's the point. You can't you yeah. can't just go take your public defender's advice and lay down and wait for the state. You got to actually yeah. go out and fight and push push. No, you got to yeah. fight, and man, you know, if you want to beat right. the county, you're gonna have to fight. You got to fight, and, and, they're, and they're gonna make it hurt. I'm gonna tell you right now, they're gonna make it hurt. Yeah, you know, they, they took everything from me more than once, yep. man. They did you know, a few times, yep. you know. And yep. I mean, you know, again, to the look, uh, I'll be honest with you, Steve. There are so many times over the course of this fight, man. I just want to look, curl up in a little ball and die. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I I'm don't sure. want to do this anymore. You know, but at the same time, I'm not going to let them win. You know, I'm not going to oh. let them take my life and man do this to me and not put up a fight. Yep. You know, what I'm saying if you're going to look, if I'm going out, I'm going out with my you know, on my feet with my hands up. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I like my life, and if you're going to take it from me, I'm going to make you work for it. Yep. You know? Yep. Um, but the bottom line is, is man, it goes back to that whole you know growing up in Philly thing, man. You know, we think Rocky's real. You know, <laughs> that's the, right, you know, the under, yes, the underdog, the, the ultimate underdog. Right? Well, there's a famous quote from Rocky. It's not not about how hard you get hit. It's yep. about how many. You know, how, One of my favorite how, quotes how of all time. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. Yep, that's right? exactly right. And that's what we did, right? And you know, and even better, I, I was saying this to the guys and man when I was in jail. I was like, you know, y'all better remember this. Rocky didn't win in the first movie. That's right. You know, you know just made it the distance. The second movie is when he got the title. Yep. You know, so round yep. two, I was coming back for the title. You know, <laughs> so is what it is. Yep. But um. You know, it's like, man, oh, man. I mean, oh, man, now I'm thinking about that song you posted up, man, when you, when you started the podcast. <laughs> and I'm just like sitting here, I'm like, man, that, I don't know who you got to do that, but, man, I'm all beaming about that. I'm, yeah. like, I got I'm gonna say, I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you. I can say, I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to send it to you. Yeah, yeah, I like that one, man. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, is, man, look, you know, it takes, it look, yeah, man, maybe it takes more balls and brains. I don't yep. know. Yep. You know, but the bottom line is, is it really doesn't take that much balls, yep. you know? I mean, look, you know, every guy in there, it was like, you know, they, they, you know, they've been sitting in there, sitting in there, and they're waiting for PDs or whoever their lawyers. And they had this one shitty lawyer, man. He was a conflict lawyer. This guy, man, was a personal injury lawyer. He never, man, worked a criminal case. Wow. He actually told his client, man, he was scared to ask for discovery from the state because it was scared the man that, that, that would make him want to take it to trial. Wow. So he wanted to plead out without ever, without ever looking at the discovery. Oh, my Are you God. Kidding me? It's like, well, I mean, you know, listen, it's real, Ty. I mean, that's 100% real. These, they're, they're like attorneys are, are some, some attorneys well, are talk about that. I mean, yeah. okay, the maximum they're willing to pay any attorney for any yeah. case yep. is $14,700. Yep. You can't even get a DUI lawyer for that. Nope. You know, you wonder why Rory's lawyer was ineffective. Yep. She was in the red working for Rory. Right? Yep. Five years, man, working on his case for $14,700. She was in the red within the first two years. Yep. She wasn't yep. trying to do shit for him. She wasn't yep. taking depots. She wasn't trying to do anything for him. Yep. Because, look, we're still charging $300 an hour. And how many hours worth of service, man, are you going to get for $14,700? Yep. You know? Yep. Um, you know, and man, again, you know, so, you, you know, and man, you know, their idea of effective assistance of counsel is just anybody that has a freaking bar license. You know, not somebody who's actually going to fight for the client. Yep. You know, and actually, man, try and defend somebody. You know, now your best chance of defense is, man, you know, take matters in your own hands. Yep. You know, 
Um, and I, you know, I, I talked quite a few, you know, inmates into going pro se, um, you know, and all of them ended up doing better. There was a guy, Blanton. Um, I think we talked about him. He was another. Okay, one time, man, you talk about setting a record. Um, in the jail, we had three guys who were all pro se facing murder, right? In that same, in that same, that same dorm, right? That same dorm that I was in. Yep. Right. Because I talked two of the other guys into doing it, right? Um, but you know, Blanton, when he went pro se, he'd been sitting there on a murder case from 2012, right? And even and they arrested him in 2020. So he'd been sitting there for four years. And his PD's telling him he's going to go to prison. We're, you know, we're going to go to trial. You're going to lose a trial, and you're going to go to prison. That's what his PD's telling him, right? Now, <laughs> this guy, so, okay, and I, you know, I looked at his case, and the very first thing that jumped out is, man, okay, wait a second. His judge used to be the prosecutor back in 2012. You know, okay, so this judge who's been working on his case for four years has a conflict of interest like you wouldn't believe. You know what I'm saying? Because, man, I mean, again, he used to be the prosecutor. You're right. Now you're the judge. You know, but anyway, so, man, he goes ahead and gets the judge disqualified off, off his case. But then, man, okay, eventually, you know, but then the judge, man, Judge Jones wouldn't give him a new lawyer. He wanted a new lawyer based on that because, yes, the guy should have read the offense report and, man, realized that, man, the judge shouldn't have been on his case four years ago, not now. <laughs> anyway, point being is um, he ends up going pro se. Right now, he 